the first chat gpt basic prompting technique that we're going to work with now is called insertion insertion simply refers to means filling in the blanks so if i give it a prompt like this which says insert refers to a system of government in which power is vested in the people who rule either directly or through free elected representatives so this is a definition of the word democracy that i got from the dictionary so now if i press play what will happen is chat gpt will replace this insert with the word democracy the term you're referring to is democracy in a democracy power is vested in the people who rule either directly or through the free elected representatives now i can further change this so that it only represents the answer so i can say just give me the replacement for insert now what i expect my answer to be is just democracy insert is a useful technique when you're trying to insert something into a given context you already have a document written and you want to insert more information in it so you can use the insert feature to plug it in and ask chat gpt to insert more content synthesize content for that specific position in the text the second basic prompting technique that we're going to cover now is called question and answering which essentially means asking a question from the chatbot and getting an answer for it so let's give it a shot for instance i can ask it a simple question such as what is engineering and it wrote me an explanation for it it starts with engineering as a discipline defining it then it talks about some of the different types of engineering and concludes it with a few more examples now i can further elaborate on this and i can ask it to summarize it in 50 words or less can you summarize this in 50 words engineering is the application of science and math to design create and improve systems and products that solve real world problems it span fields like civil mechanical electrical and software engineering addressing various challenges to advanced technology industry and societies well being so essentially it did the job for me and it based on my follow up question it was able to generate a much smaller size of the response within the keyword limit that i have so far this is well and good but this is the information that i can easily get from google as well by looking at a couple of different blogs so i want to take one step further and make it more challenging So now let's say identify the sub fields of engineering as a list. So it already gave me a list. I'm just going to ask it again to provide me the sub fields of engineering as a list. Okay. Now write me short description for each one so now i'm going to go in and write a short description for each one of them i don't like 10 and 11 remove them from the list certainly so now i'll remove the last two because i asked it to output in tabular format with two columns engineering field and description and now it converted it into a tabular format for us so this was the power of question and answering 
although I could have started here and got this result from a blog on Google as well, but being able to ask follow-up questions, to write it in 50 words, to identify the subfields, and then explain each one of the subfields and finally output it in tabular format for the exact data that you were looking for. That's the question and answering with ChatGPT. The next basic prompting technique with ChatGPT that we're going to cover is called text classification, which essentially means categorizing the text in predefined values. A very simple and basic example would be of reviews. I can ask ChatGPT. I can provide ChatGPT with a review and ask it to rate it whether it's a good review or a bad review. Let's do that for an example. I am going, so I'm going to start talking with ChatGPT by setting up the context. I'm going to say, I am going to provide you with a list of reviews. Your job is to classify them. It's smart enough to understand that I'm going to give it a series of reviews now and it's going to classify them as good or bad of course i'd be happy to help you classify the reviews please provide me with the list of reviews and let me know the categories or labels you'd like to use for classification the categories are good bad or neutral great so now for an example, I'm on my chat GPT course, the course we're taking right now. And if I scroll down, I can see all my reviews here at the bottom. I'm going to start picking a few of them and let's see how it works with these. So I have 56% of the students have rated it five star and 1% have rated it one star. So I'm going to start with one of the best reviews first and see what chat GPT says in this case. So now, because this is a five-star review, I expect to be rated good, which is the case. Let's try another one. Learned a lot of new things. Open, opened the new world of AI for me. This is the foundation I hope I can build on from there by Bajee. So if I copy this, I should expect a similar response of good. Yes. Now let's try some of the lower reviews. So if I open my one star reviews, uh, sorry, one star reviews, which is 1% of the course, I see three of them. Now let's try with these. Very boring and not easy to follow. If you notice, I did not include the inverted commas, but it was able to understand that I'm still providing a review. So now it says bad. Let's try another one. Now, if I want to export it in, into a Excel file, I can get all of them in a tabular format. Can you provide the data we went through in tabular format? Certainly. So now it rated all the reviews and gave me the category from each one. The next basic prompt engineering technique that we're going to discuss is called information extraction, which essentially means identifying relevant information from the text. And the relevant information could be anything. It could be names, a company name, date, identities, places, or any specific information already available in the text. To perform this, what I did was I ran another prompt where I said, write me a fictional blog on my journey on a road in Mustang with my brother Mars from California to Toronto, which is actually one of the trips that we took. So now I'm going to copy this prompt and I'm going to paste it in a new chart. And I will follow up with a question. 
what was the car we were traveling in and let's see what it says you were traveling in a sleek mustang convertible throughout your road trip adventure from california to toronto the mustang convertible added an extra layer of excitement and freedom okay who was i traveling with so it got the car can it tell me that it was my brother mas okay it can get that information as well okay tell me which cities did i visit during my journey southern california vegas and then toronto so information extraction is a very strong prompting technique you can save yourself hours and hours of work by providing the context and data to chat gpt and asking it to extract the relevant information for you whether it's states years or something specific that you're looking for in specific documents you can essentially copy paste anything into chat gpt and ask it to derive that information for you mm -hmm.